How Pokemon Silver Almost Ruined My Christmas In December of 2000, my older brother and I asked our parents for copies of Pokemon Gold and Silver for Christmas. About a week before Christmas Day, my brother comes running into our room to let me know that he's found the secret present stash, and among those presents was Pokemon Silver. Now, keep in mind, all the presents were already wrapped, but my brother pulled the sneaky child tactic of ripping a small piece of the wrapping paper off so you could catch a glimpse of what was on the other side. And what was on the other side was a shiny glimmer of silver from the game's box. One thing my brother didn't count on was our parents finding out the clearly obvious piece of wrapping paper missing from the present. What? No way. You know, I have the transcript. So when we were both confronted in our room about the crime committed, our parents gave us two options. Either one of us fesses up and takes the ass whooping of a lifetime, or we stay true to the streets and not snitch. But in return, neither of us get the new Pokemon game. My brother was not going to own up to his misdeeds, so I took the fall because I wasn't going to miss out on playing the new Pokemon game. Come on over here! With my butt spanked so hard that I looked like the red guy from Cow and Chicken, I was not expecting what would happen Christmas Day. I ended up getting not just Pokemon Silver, but Pokemon Gold too. To this day, I don't know if my brother confessed his sins, or if my parents put together that I was an innocent man, but that's how Pokemon Silver almost ruined my Christmas. I guess the moral of the story is don't confess to crimes you didn't commit, because you didn't do it.